गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेर स्टार्टेड विद द यूनिट नंबर वन दैट इज द बेसिक्स ऑफ मेंटेनेंस एंड रिपेयर्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेर सीन द मेंटेनेंस एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन सो देर वॉज द रूटीन मेंटेनेंस प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस रेमिडियल मेंटेनेंस नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिपेयर so repair is the process of restoring something that is damaged or deteriorated or broken to good condition so repair is the process basically it is the process of restoring something which is get damaged deteriorated or broken into its good condition if you have one building which is get damaged which is get damaged after that you did the some process you did the some remedial measures to this building and you get it to the its good condition that means you repaired this building this is simple meaning of the repair okay guys let's see some another concepts similar to the repair next concept is retro fitting so let's see what is the retro fitting it is a process of enhancing the resistance of damaged or weak structure by appropriate technique of maintenance and repairs so basically retro fitting ek process hai it is a process वो क्या करता है एनहांस द रेजिस्टेंस रेट्रोफिटिंग प्रोसेस क्या करता है एनहांस करता है रेजिस्टेंस किसका ऑफ डैमेज्ड और वीक स्ट्रक्चर विद द हेल्प ऑफ अप्रोप्रिएट टेक्निक ऑफ मेंटेनेंस एंड रिपेयर दैट मींस इन द सिंपल वर्ड्स आई कैन से दैट रेट्रोफिटिंग इज द एनहांसिंग ऑफ द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ डैमेज स्ट्रक्चर it is also defined as the operation or process in which replacing strengthening repairing etc to be carried out to improve the performance of damaged structure similarly if there is any part of the building get broken we have to replace it that means we are doing the retrofitting sometimes some parts get partially damaged in that case we strengthen it and we repair it so these processes are under retrofitting concept retrofitting of damaged structure is done by repairing and strengthening the damaged portion of structure and making it reusable क्या करते हैं हम अगर कोई डैमेज हुआ है स्ट्रक्चर का पार्ट तो उसको क्या करते हैं रिपेयर करते हैं स्ट्रेंथ देते हैं उसको और फिर उसको क्या करते हैं रीयूज में लाते हैं तो उसको रेट्रोफिटिंग बोलते हैं द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ रेट्रोफिटिंग इज टू अपग्रेड द स्ट्रेंथ रिजिडिटी एंड डक्टिलिटी ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग बिल्डिंग इन ऑर्डर टू मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सेफ्टी एंड कम्फर्ट इट्स अ सिंपल थिंग suppose you are living in any building you should have to feel safe and you should have to feel comfort so for that you need to increase the strength rigidity and ductility of that structure so for increasing the strength rigidity and ductility we carry out the retro fitting so guys this is all about the retro fitting now next concept is the rehabilitation so let's see what says the rehabilitation rehabilitation is the process of returning a building or an area to its previous good condition okay let me take one example suppose you constructed one building and beam of that building designed for 100 किलो न्यूटन लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी 
but what happen after use of few years that beams that beams capacity get decrease to 80 kN okay so after that i feel that ki my beams capacity get decrease so what i did i did the rehabilitation of that beam rehabilitation done that means what i did i do the some remedial measures and us beam ka jo capacity hai 80 se upar le ja ke 90 kiya 90 kN so that means beam is in good condition than 80 kN capacity right so this is the rehabilitation process kisi cheez ko uske good condition mein lana ya previous condition mein lana that means rehabilitation so this is about the rehabilitation now let's see restoration what is the restoration the term restoration is a process of regaining the original strength of structure before damage occur okay this is the interesting concept in the previous concept in rehabilitation what i said your beam initially at capacity of 100 kN but it decreased to the 80 after that with the help of re- rehabilitation what i did i did some remedial measures and it gains its load carrying capacity up to 90 kN that means you take your beam ca- capacity from 80 to 90 is your rehabilitation but if you take same beams capacity up to 100 kN that means you did the restoration i hope you got this agar kisi building portion ko ya building ko uske original condition mein uske original strength mein lana that means restoration okay let's see next point the restoration is mainly carried out to increase the strength of load bearing elements by addition of temporary structure addition of more structural elements increasing the dimensions of load bearing elements so re- restoration is mainly done in the load bearing structures for what purpose for increasing the strength in the restoration process what i can do i can increase the dimension of load bearing elements i can add more structural elements also i can provide the temporary extra structure or additional structure last point says the technique of restoration may even involve the removal of certain portion and replacing it with new and stronger elements so restoration also covers the removal of certain portion suppose your external wall plaster get cracked so in that case what do you did you remove the plaster and replace it with the new good quality plaster so that means you did the restoration of the plaster so this is whole about the restoration simply keep in mind that restoration is the process of taking the any building element to its original strength or original condition okay let's move further on next topic next topic is the restrengthening restrengthening what says the restrengthening we seen that rehabilitation restoration now it's time to see restrengthening restrengthening it is the process of adding strength to any part of an existing building to provide higher strength than original again i will take the same example of beam beams original load carrying capacity was the 
हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन बट आफ्टर यूज ऑफ फ्यू इयर्स इट डिक्रीज डाउन टू द एटी किलो न्यूटन सो इन द रिहाबलेशन आई विल टेक इट टू नाइंटी किलो न्यूटन इन रेस्टोरेशन आई विल टेक इट फ्रॉम एटी टू हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स इट्स ओरिजिनल पोजिशन बट इन रिस्ट्रेंथनिंग आई विल टेक दैट बीम्स कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम एटी किलो न्यूटन टू वन वन जीरो किलो न्यूटन दैट मीन्स वन वन जीरो इज द हायर दैन इट्स ओरिजिनल कैपेसिटी सो दिस इज द रिस्ट्रेंथनिंग इफ यू आर टेकिंग सम पोर्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग टू इट्स हाई स्ट्रेंथ दैन द ओरिजिनल दैट मीन्स यू आर रिस्ट्रेंथनिंग इट सो दिस इज द रिस्ट्रेंथनिंग द बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथनिंग एनी स्ट्रक्चर आर गिवन बिलो सो लेट सी वॉट आर द बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द रिस्ट्रेंथनिंग फर्स्ट वन इज द इंक्रीजिंग द स्ट्रेंथ सेकेंड वन इंक्रीजिंग द इंटेग्रल एक्शन of various element of building for example if our building structure is tends to loading in that case our whole building element should act as a one single unit for that purpose we restrengthen the buildings reducing the source of weakness and irregularities of the structure so here is the another objective for which we done the restrengthening to reduce the weakness and irregularities of the structure agar structure mein koi weakness hai ya irregularities hai to usko reduce karne ke liye we have to do the restrengthening and fourth point is increasing the structural properties such as ductility डक्टिलिटी जैसी प्रॉपर्टीज हमें क्या करनी है उसकी इंक्रीज करनी है ओके गाइज सो दिस इज यू नो फॉर टूडे